Hi everyone and welcome. This is Miracle Ogbo, the Graduate Assistant of the Research and Educational Services Department of the JMU Libraries. In our last video, we talked about music education journals. In this video, we'll be talking about finding articles and periodicals using databases. On this page, you'll find music specific databases, broad topics databases, and music specific periodicals and magazines. If you scroll down to the top of the page, the first database we'll find is ProQuest, which is the music periodicals database. If you click on ProQuest to take you to the database. On this database, if you're logging in for the first time, you might have to log in with your GMU EID. On this search tab, feel free to type in your topic. Let's take, for example, our topic or the topic we'll be researching on is music education in Africa. Search. Progress will generate articles that will help you with your topic. Now feel free to scroll down and read through some of these that you think will be closely related to your topic and choose what works for you. Next database is the RILM Abstract of Music Literature. Click on it and it takes you to the page. The same way you typed in your topic on ProQuest, you type in your topic or you type in keywords to your topic using the words and, or, or not. The next is the Broad Topics Database. On the Broad Topics Database, you will not only find music related topics, you will also find topics that are that have more broader sense. Um, for example, if you're writing a topic on music education and chemistry, or music education and biology, or you're probably writing about singers as athletes, something related to music but branches out to another field of study, you will want to use these databases that are on outlined under the Broad Topics database. For example, JSTOR, the music, um, the education research complete, um, Oxford Scholarship Online. You can also use Google Scholar to find articles, some of which might not be found under the GMU database, so be careful. Let's click on Google Scholar. Let's take, for example, the topic is music education in Africa. Let's click to the topic we've been using before. Well, I will show you articles and people who have cited these articles before. But like I said, some of these databases that Google Scholar will refer you to might not be subscribed to by the JMU libraries. So be careful. For example, this one is via JSTOR and JMU subscribes to JSTOR. So you might want to click on that and have full access. Next is the music specific periodicals and magazines. Under these, we have Teacher Reference Center, Music Periodicals Database, Performing Arts Periodicals, and the Jewish Web. Although it is not advised to use um, periodicals and magazines in your research because some of these magazines uh, are paid for by companies, 
so they might have a more biased opinion on your topic but it's not totally condemned to use these periodicals and magazines just make sure that you it's a peer-reviewed source or it is you, it is a properly scrutinized source and you're not just getting information based on a biased opinion. So if you're using these databases to find resources, make sure you really scrutinize the information found through them. But feel free to explore the databases on this page and see what works with your topic.